Konnichiwa and welcome everybody to Chrono Reviews and this time I'm going to review Figma Shana red version which I finally got and I'm also just to say going to compare this quite a bit with the black hair version just to see if there are any differences at all and just to have a nice compare so starting off showing this package compared to the Figma Black person. This package is based on red instead of green. You can see the figure inside here. Nice art of Shana on the side. The regular poses on the back, of course. Figma. And on the top, picture of, Sh picture of Shana. And on the bottom as well. And there you can see the license sticker that shows this figure are authentic. And to compare, this is the color of the exclusive Black Hair Shana box that I got during summer 2010. So this is the differences. Just a quick show. So, right. Let us get this figure open up and I'll show you the red haired Shana version. Alright, here I am back with the red haired version of Shanna. And being one of my favorite characters, I'm glad to have this version. And this is just so cool with this variant with the glowing hair. I can start off by showing this most impressive part of it that the hair is transparent at the edges, then orangey. I show you is that light I have here over here. See the it transparent so it glows. I think that's a very very nice touch. If you compare to the black haired version, it doesn't. The sculpture is identical. Almost I will get to that later when I compare the two. But the sculpture is just as good. The paint job is the same over the body, which is very nice. Alastor is painted in a more reddish color, and my friend are making sounds in the shower. <laughs> very crazy sounds indeed. <laughs> Alright. The articulation of this figure have, of course, ball jointed legs, knee joints, ball jointed feet, ball jointed arms elbow joints and hands that can swivel and move like this so it works like a ball joint and of course a head that's ball jointed and you can of course switch the head by removing the fringe and remove exchange the head face I mean and of course that the torso is also on a ball joint articulation is very good and now because of the black hair version that it's very very high quality movement so what are those accessories it is the Figma bag the Figma stand the extra part for long hair a set of hands two extra hands I think those are sword hands but they don't have a joint here There's also the melon pan bed bread. The difference with this one compared to the black hair version is that there's a bite taken out of this. There's the extra face which is slightly open mouth and more serious look. And there is her sword, Nito Nomashana, which is iconic and a must for this figure. Now that's it, like, let me pose her up and compare her to the black hair version. There is you. Alright, here I am with the post up Shanna. I must say this figure just looks as... Just look... Uh, I'm just making <laughs> the wrong words now. Uh, it looks just as good as the black hair Shanna when post up. And it's a very very nice figure. 
I just love this red effect. Just as easy to pose. And I forgot for uh, before with the the um, articulation the articulation bit that uh, the hair is articulated like this, and both Shanna figures have have that. I attached the other face. Right. So there we have the flame haze version of Shanna. And here we have the the regular version of Shanna. Now it's fun that I call this one regular because she is the, the figure itself are but it is the exclusive actually, so but still good that I used the regular one. Now say so that one was regular. Right. Uh, the flame haze one as the the normal release because of the it's uh, what people mostly would want. So what's the differences between these figures? The paint job are the same except for a few differences. That is of course the most notable is the hair of course, the glow effect and that the hair is red. The other part is her red eyes of course compared to her more brown eyes and also that Alastor is a more orange metallic color instead of the more blackish like on that one because it looks more glowing on this one and the articulation is exactly the same you get the same accessories except that the bread have a bite taken out of it for the red version and now the bit that's actually different on the sculpture is the hair fringe you can see that already that this one has more, more um, detailing, this one is more smooth like that. So I'm going to show you a little bit more up close on both of them. I'm not sure why that sculpture is different, but probably because the horse is more flowing and looks more wild like that in uh, when she are in flame haze mode. I think it's something like that, I'm not really sure. So to sum this up, those figures are both very great. I can't set any one of them as favorite because I like, I love the flame haze mode, it's just so awesome. But that one is just so uh, clean and stylish too. So I, yeah, I like both. So I can only recommend to say that if you like Shanna and only want to get one of those, get the one you prefer after seeing both together. Accessories are the same and everything like that. And you get the only thing I miss in the way of accessories are her black cape, which are quite iconic, but you didn't get it with the Figma. Otherwise, Figmas are very much into including everything, but this time it was that little detail. Not much, but it could have been nice to have it. And also her glowing wings, but that's not really a must in the same manner but it's a very nice figure I recommend both of them and if you're a Shanna fan or just a Figma collector they are very much worth it so that was it for today have a nice evening and sayonara